Hello, welcome back to this really fun series of videos. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to cite your sources. And you're going to cite your sources via Noodle Tools because it's a district paid subscription. It's reliable. And then we're all citing our sources on the same platform. And here's how you get there. From, you're gonna to go to your Google Drive and up here you're gonna click on the waffle on the upper right hand corner. And you're gonna go into your drive. And once you're in your drive, I am in my drive, sorry. You're gonna scroll down. It's thinking. Here we go. Scrolling down. You're gonna find Noodle Tool Sky and Mountain Pose. Go ahead and click on, on him. Um, choose your account. Because you might be back to a new school year, you might have to say what grade you're in and that you get a minor high school. You're gonna have a new project while it's sitting and spinning. So I'm gonna click up here on new project. You're gonna give it a title. You're gonna select MLA, and that's pretty much the standard standard way of citing sources, Modern Language Authority, and you're gonna hit junior. And the reason you're gonna do that is starter is if you're more geared in an elementary land, advanced is if you're citing something really obscure. You're not citing anything obscure on this. And then you're gonna press submit. I already have one open, so I'm gonna open it up right here. So I'm book banning. So I'm gonna go back to my article from um, Opposing Viewpoints and Context. I could go here to the Cite button at the top, or I could go to the bottom of the article, which is what I'm gonna do on the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that it's set for MLA, and then I'm going to copy it. So I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna right click and copy it. I'm gonna go back to Noodle Tools, and I'm gonna go up here to New Source. I'm gonna choose Database. This is from a database, and it's original content in a database. And then I am going to go here to the copy and paste citation and I'm going to paste it in. Here's what you need to check though, my friends. So MLA capitalizes first word and all important words. So I'm going to look at this really carefully. I'm going to go and change the word under to a capital U. Under is pretty important. Um, the rest of it though looks pretty good. And then I'm going to press save. And it's done. All that work for me. I'm going to go here to my EBSCO article. On the EBSCO articles on the right hand side, this is where you'll find the citation. So I'm going to click on site. Once you click on site, you're going to have to scroll. You're going to need to find MLA. Once again, there it is, MLA 9th. And you're going to go from the author's last name to the end, and you're going to hit copy and go back into Noodle Tools, go up to New Source. And you're going to go once again, EBSCO is a database original content in a database, copy and paste. This is why I like databases because your citations are super duper easy. I'm gonna look at this, banning books and overview, points of view, banning books, looking good. I'm gonna press save. <clears throat> Should you go out to the wonderful world of the internet? Um, and for example, this is the Office of Intellectual Freedom through the American Library Association. We can say I use this. Um, you're going to go into Noodle Tools and you're going to go to New Source and you're going to go to Website. I've already done this one for you because I didn't want you to watch me put stuff in. So I'm going to click here on the edit. Um, should you go this route, you're going to have to fill in the blanks. If you don't know what goes in the blank, you're going to click on this and a little eye pops up and it's going to give you information of what you're going to have to do. Here's my advice, my friends. There's a lot of misinformation and disinformation out there on the internet right now. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you use databases such as Opposing Viewpoints and Context and EBSCO. And the reason why is because they're vetted. Someone's looked at them and you know you're gonna be okay um, instead of going to some site that you, yeah, you don't know. So that's what I would do. And also if you're on the college and university path for your secondary pathways, the expectation in college is that you're going to be using databases. So I'm all done for this. I'm going to go up here to the export print button. This is the beauty. Print it out to Google Docs, to Google Pages, and just choose everything. And the nice part about it is that your citations are going to look beautiful with all the correct order and indentation. Um, I'm just waiting for a slick that Food Network with a reveal. Here it is. So it's going to do all the right things that you need it to do. Um, go take this, take this for a spin. Please let me know if you have any questions. Best of luck for you on your research. Bye-bye.